Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought since it's getting close to the Sephora VIB sale, um, I'll put all the information below because I, I don't know exactly. I think it's starting on October 27th. Um, and because I already bought some holiday <laughs> releases, I thought I would do like a little haul and then at the end I'll tell you what's in my cart because I've set up like a, you know, a cart for the VIB sale. It's not very exciting to be honest. <laughs> um, if you guys don't know already, I don't do many like Sephora VIB sale videos because I kind of just buy what I really want throughout the year and then when the sale comes I treat it more like either like restocking on um, products that I actually use like shampoo and you know shower gel and that kind of stuff so yeah and and it is only 20% off right so basically in Quebec that just means we don't pay tax <laughs> so it's still the same price anyway i'll just jump into it because i yeah i bought some things uh, a little of it was i was scared things would sell out before the sale because that did happen to me last year anyway we'll just get right into it um i do have one thing that's like not a holiday release but I had to try this, the Cali Ray Big Swell Hydrating Glassy Lip Plumper. This is supposedly a clean plumping lip gloss. I don't know what that means. I honestly bought it for the packaging because it looks like this. So this is a glass bottle. Um, this part is plastic, but it has like this ribbed design and look at this doesn't that look so beautiful I actually have not tried this yet so I don't know anything about it other than the packaging is stunning and it just feels very luxe and it's one of these like fun little hourglass type shaped things it definitely smells like a lip plumper smells you know that that kind of smell so there's I'm sure the same kind of ingredients in here as a regular lip plumper so I'm not sure it makes it clean but I love the packaging and it just really got me so plus everything I've tried from Cali Ray so far I've liked and this has very good reviews on the Sephora app so I did get that then this one. I had to get this. This is the Too Faced Popcorn Balls eyeshadow palette. I've never had a popcorn popcorn ball. I'm not even sure if it's a you eat it or if it's like a Christmas decoration. I don't know. Let me know if you know what popcorn balls are. I just thought it would be very cute and it smells like sweet and salty popcorn balls. I love the smell of popcorn. I know some people hate it, but it always takes me back to when I was younger and I would eat all kinds of um, Jelly Belly, the popcorn flavor. I know that's probably disgusting to some people, but I loved it. So I'm trying to open this. So it says on the back, first it was your favorite holiday treat. Okay, so it is a, a holiday treat. Now it's a buttery, must-have, pocket-sized palette of warm, wearable, neutral shades with bright winks of color that make your eyes pop. So it is a cardboard packaging. I don't know if they're, they stopped doing the tin packaging, it seems. And this is... The color story nothing like out of this world um, but I thought it was really pretty and I'm loving these kind of tones lately as you can tell <laughs> um, today I'm wearing the Odin's Eye and Angelica Nyquist little ghost palette if you didn't see I'm mm, 
yes that video will be up before this one so yeah um love the lavender pinks as you might know plus this like warm mustardy shade and i watched tara babies swatch this and it looked really nice actually so this one is made in bulk made in usa assembled in dominican republic so it's not the italian Too face formula but i think it looks really fun so i had to get this i probably should have waited for this i'm sure it's gonna go on sale but i wanted to try it so yeah there's that um, then, of course, I had to get the Patrick Ta Major Holiday Face Palette. Um, have I tried the one I bought last year, the holiday release? No. <laughs> but I, I had to have this one. I honestly was sold by Patrick Ta himself because I watched his reel on Instagram and he demoed it on himself and he was just so excited about it and it, it honestly looked really beautiful also so I had to get it. I was hoping, I've already gotten this, you know, on my own time. This is the really fun packaging um, and I was hoping that the eyeshadows, which are here, I was hoping those were like the formula in the Major Dimension 2 eyeshadow palette but they are more of like the dry topper formula which is fine it's just yeah you're just gonna have to be careful with the fallout and everything like that so but I could not resist the tones I mean these like trending pink shades but then you also have this more like, I don't know, reddish purple, if that is a thing. So I'm very excited about this. I have not tried it on my face. I've just watched the shadows. So let me actually just, let's just watch it. So these are his like cream and powder duos. Oh, that feels very emollient. This one here. Oh, whoa! <laughs> so soft, I already ruined the the Patrick Ta logo, but I need to see what this looks like. Can you that is terrible swatch, but I had this on <laughs> my hand. So the cream is actually very sheer. I don't even know if you can see it, it's that. And then this is the powder. And with uh, Patrick Ta's formula, he says put the powder on first and the cream on top. And it makes a lot of sense when you see how the formula is because the pigment is really in the powder shade and the cream is more like a, um, kind of like a topper in the sense that it just adds some glow. So yeah, that's probably why you can't even really see it on my skin tone there. But that was the, these have names, I'm pretty sure, yeah. That was the Giving I Need Her duo. And then the more like this kind of shade, whatever that is. I'm not gonna swatch over the logo. That is very pigmented. Uh, oh, so yeah, this one is a lot more, you know, it's a deeper tone. So that's the cream and that's the powder. <laughs> okay, I'm very excited to put this on my face. I wanted to try it today, but yeah, I wasn't sure because I knew I was doing, I wanted to use the Odin's Eye palette. But then I wouldn't be able to use the shimmers in this palette. So that might have to be a whole other video. If you guys want to see that, let me know. Oh, well, let me swatch the eyeshadows, right? They're very, like, shiny, but also very flaky. And there's not a lot of base in them, like a base pigment. So that's why I think 
Mm, they're gonna be very <laughs> all over. But look how pretty that is. I was wondering if you could use these as highlighters, but unless you're super into glitter, probably don't even try because these are so like just as I swatched those, oh, like glitter was flying around. So, um, see how they're all quite sheer and they have just a very slight tint. That's why I feel like they're more meant to be toppers. And I'm pretty sure Patrick Ta himself called them toppers in his video. So don't expect these to be like super foiled metallic shades, but they are very pretty. Um, they'd be very pretty on the inner corner. Yeah, when I look at them in person, you can really tell the difference in color, but on camera, they all kind of just look very shiny. But yeah, and ignore this stain from something else. So yeah, I'm excited about this. And I love that he does the little flap to cover the creams because all that glitter is definitely going to get into them otherwise. So that was the Patrick Ta Major Holiday Face Palette. Okay, then this I had to get. This is the Sol de Janeiro Cherosa Travel Perfume Set. So last year they had another set like this, but it wasn't the same because this is actually a new one that they released this year. But um, this sold out so quickly last year and in Canada it never came back in stock so when I saw it released again I was like I'm buying that I don't even care <laughs> if I wait to like I won't even wait for it to go on sale I'm just gonna buy it right now so this is the value is not super great but it's the fact that you get four minis in one set that really got me so in US it's $34, but the value is $40. In Canada, it was $44, but the value is $52. So, whatever. Mainly, I mean, I don't buy these because of their value. I buy them because I use this product every day, and I want to try different ones. So currently, I'm really into this, the Chirosa 40. So I went through um, one like medium size of this and I'm using another one right now. So this one, I just love it. Um, and then I want to try this one, the Chirosa 68, which is Brazilian Jasmine and Pink Dragon Fruit. That sounds very fun. And then you get the original Chirosa 62, which I don't think I've ever tried in the spray. And then this is the new one, the Sol de Janeiro Rio Radiance. It's solar, tuberose, and latte de coco. So, coconut milk. This one I smell in store and it smells like vacation. So, I love it. <laughs> but I actually do want to open this to see, because I'm pretty sure these are going to be pretty small. Um, and it's just the box that makes it look big. Oh, okay. Yeah, these are bigger than I thought they'd be, but they are this size. So these are not, so in Sephora, there's like the big, the regular size, and then there's a middle size, and then there's this size. So they're not like the middle size ones. But still, a lot of product here, and I am very excited. Because like I said, I use body spray like every day, pretty much. So, these will definitely be used. Maybe I'll give this one to my mom, because I do already have it. <laughs> but it's half full, so I don't know. We'll see. And that one, by the way, the Chirosa 40 is the Black Amber Plum and Vanilla Woods one. So I feel like that one is a good like all year round fragrance because it's not too summery. Like the Rio Radiance, I'll probably save that for the summer. And the 
Chiros is 62, which is pistachio and salted caramel. But yeah, very happy I snagged this. I don't know, I don't even know if it's still available. I should have checked before filming, but I'm never prepared, it seems. And then I only got one other holiday set. This one, the Tarte. Tarte All-Stars Amazonian Clay Collector's Set. This is four new Eye and Face palettes. And I couldn't resist it. It's the new Tarte formula with like the rounded square pens. Oh, so there's a picture <laughs> on the back. I just love when they do these ones. I love the, honestly, I've only swatched the ones that I already own, but they're so pretty, especially the shimmers. So I had to have this. Um, and you do get one face palette. My one complaint with the face palette, and I'll open this, is that the pens are very small and I don't know how I'm gonna get like my blush and bronzer brush in those, but I'll show you. This would be cute too if you, um, did like little gifts for your friends because you really, you could just have four gifts right here if you didn't want to keep them for yourself. So the first one, this is the Tartlet and I'm pretty sure, yeah, they say there's four new Heim face palettes. So I don't think any of the shades exist already, but look how pretty. Again, it's those like lavender pink tones that I love and I haven't even touched this yet. Should I give you some swatches? Oh my gosh. Look at this. So I'm very excited. I don't know. This must be the same formula that's in the Man Eater palettes, the new ones that everybody's freaking out about. I, we can't get those in Canada because they're Ulta exclusive, but I'm pretty sure it's the same formula. It's just very smooth and like, I don't know, it's just very pretty. So that was just two of the swatches, this one and this deeper shade. But you also get two mattes. This one and this one. So this would be like a complete look for me. So loving this one. We'll see how it performs on the eye, but so far, I love the color story at least. Then this is the Glamazon. This is the face palette. So you see what I mean? They're just very skinny. Like I kind of wish they just made them wider or maybe made them circle pens. I don't know. There's a lot of like empty space, right? But anyway, I mean, it's also to keep the cost down. So this looks really pretty too. So in this one, the highlighter and the blush, obviously the highlighter has shimmer, but so does the blush. The bronzer is matte and the shades are Paradise, Escape and Retreat. Ooh. Oh my gosh, look at this. That's so soft. Like I already kind of messed up the embossing. This might be really nice. So that's the highlighter. It's really pretty. It kind of has like a peachy or like a rosiness to it. Then the blush here, it's like a mauve tone, but it's there is shimmer in it. And the bronzer, I didn't really get a good swatch of the bronzer. Let me try, try and get that. The bronzer looks very warm, so we'll see, but it's that one. I've pretty much liked every Tarte bronzer shade I've ever tried, so uh, we'll see about that one. But yeah, this would be a really pretty, you know, easy palette to use. Then you have the Maracuya Juicy palette. So these are like themed off of their already existing palettes, right? Because there is a Juicy palette, but it's different, I think. 
Oh, this one is the one with the really pretty embossing. Look at these like daisies or whatever those are. <laughs> Very pretty. So this one's more like rosy pinks. Um, okay, I have to touch this shade. Look at this. That's the shade Flower Patch. And the shade Dewy. So these two. So this one has three. Actually, no, I think this is matte oh okay i think this one only has two shimmers these two and then these are mattes this one i was confused by because it has that em embossing but it looks maybe it's more like a satin let's watch oops that was a terrible swatch this one Ooh, that's pretty that's the pink one and then the one I wasn't sure I don't I think it's a matte but these are so like creamy smooth that shade so this one really liking this one too so that was the Maracuya Juicy oh my god I'm getting fingerprints all over this stuff and then the last one is the Tartlet Starlight Ooh, this one is I guess the most like neutral one and it has really cute star embossing this one has only two mattes these two and the rest are um, shimmery so let's swatch the shade universe no am I reading this correctly I don't think so I don't know. I think that's the shade Glimmer, actually. I don't know if I was saying it right the whole time. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's going to be a really pretty inner corner shade. And then... I kind of want to see this one. Oh yeah. That is definitely a shimmer. That's a more... Ooh. It's like a very light gold. And then I have to swatch this gold. It's like coppery one. Oh yeah. This one here. So yes, I'm very excited about this. <laughs> and I like that they did it this way. Like um, three separate palettes as opposed to one big one. I just feel like that's easier to use for me because you know, I need less variety to know like how I should use it. But I mean, there's variety in the shades, but when you use one on its own, like then you're kind of like, ooh. So these are the colors I need to work with to make a look. I hope that makes sense. That's just how it goes for me when I do my eyeshadow. Anyway, so that's all I got. I mean, wasn't that much, but I did want to tell you what's in my cart so yes but i have to change my battery so i'll be back okay so i'll try to put the picture up here um my editing software hates when i put pictures in so i hope this works like i said this isn't very exciting the first thing on my in my cart is the sol de janeiro rio dio aluminum free deodorant the Chirosa 68 one. So currently I'm using the, let me show you. This. It's the same scents that are in here. So I'm using the Chirosa 40 and I love it, but I just want to try something else and I'm getting low. So I'm going to restock on that, but I'm going to get the 68, right? Yeah, this Chirosa 68 to try. So, and before that I was using the regular one, just the Chirosa 62, and I loved that one also. So, this seems to be my deodorant now because it doesn't break me out, it doesn't make me itchy, it smells good, and it actually works. So, yeah, I just stick to that one. 
Um, I'm also going to get the same scent in the body wash. So it's called the Bea Floor Renewing Body Wash. I'm getting that because, well, I have some other body washes I could use first, but I really want to try that one. <laughs> and then I have the Holiday Coconut Foot Mask from Sephora Collection. I'm pretty sure Sephora Collection is going to be 30% off. So I'm going to get two of those because I really like it and I like to give it to my mom as part of her Christmas gift. So I'm going to get one for myself <laughs> and one for her. Um, but I'm not going to buy all kinds of sheet masks this year because I had way too many. I actually did like a little project on my own called, um, what was it called? <laughs> sheet mask September. So in September I use a different like sheet mask type product almost every day and I have really like hardly any left. Only like a lot of eye patches left. So I don't want to get to that point again. So I'm just going to get the foot mask because I like it and it's fun to use. And then the big item that I think I'm going to get, unless I see anyone review this and give it like a bad review, I really want to try the Danessa Myricks Lightwork 5. I don't have any of the Lightwork palettes because they always sell out. And I am a little concerned this one might sell out. You know, it's, it's kind of like a little sus to be honest, but you know when the VIP sale starts and all of a sudden like everything is out of stock and then it magically comes back in stock when the sale's over and you're like, was that on purpose? I don't know, I feel like this might happen. So the Lightwork 5 I Am palette for eyes and face it's a lot of money, so that's why I'm waiting for the sale. And I guess if it goes out of stock, well, it wasn't meant to be. Because with these, with the Danessa Myricks products, I find they go out of stock and either they never come back or it takes like a really long time for them to come back. So yeah, we'll see. But it just looks so pretty. So. I hope I could put the, the picture up, but if not, I'm looking at this picture on my phone. And these just look like shades I would definitely use. I do need to see a video. I feel like nobody has bought this yet. Um, so I guess I'll just watch Danessa Marks. I'm sure she has a video on this, but yeah. There's something about this that really is getting me, so. I might get that. We'll see. But that's it. That's all I have in my cart. Um, yeah, I'm not really, like, these are the things I was most excited about that are like holiday releases and I already bought them. So there's not much else for me to get except I need deodorant and, and body wash. <laughs> so anyway, um, I hope this video was helpful. Maybe you were looking at some of these products um, and you wanted to see swatches or anything. So if you want to see anything more in depth, like if you want a whole demo of the Patrick Ta face palette, I can do that. I might do it anyway, even if no one wants one, <laughs> because I just really want to try this on my face. And yeah, I have the, the Tarte products I can do, videos, the popcorn balls, Too Faced palette, and yeah, I'm just very excited about these things. So let me know if you've picked any of them up yourself, what you think, and if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!